Morning, lovely viewer. Well, we're going to do a video today, quick tour around the front garden. And this here is, is Queen of Sweden. Last year's Rose of the Year in my garden, and this year she is holding on to that title for dear life. This is second flush in um, on all of my roses, the ones that are in flower. So we've already had first flush, but this is the second flush. And you can see here that upright growth of Queen of Sweden. She is looking pristine, pristine. And this here is Royal Parfumer, AKA Dark Desire. Lovely, powerful fragrance. Hybrid tea. And at the moment, she's just given me the one, the one flower per stem. Lovely, powerful fragrance. A beautiful sort of ready, purplish sort of color, but looking absolutely, absolutely perfect. Very nice. But this one here, <coughs> excuse me, this is second flush. And this is Olivia Rose Austin. And it's only, I can't get over the fact it's only, it's not even a year old. Not even a year old and is giving me just flower after flower after flower, bud after bud after bud. And there's still buds. <laughs> there's still buds that are, that are coming through. And there's no support on this. This is a rose, it's, it's got upright growth. I have got another Olivia Rose Austin just here. There are some that are not in flower, but that's getting budded up again, ready for the second the second flush there. But it's all it's all looking it's all looking very nice. But I want to show you you Stacey of I. Because I I spoke about this in a previous video, I was a bit worried about it. But as you can see here, we're getting a lot of strong growth now come up for its second flush. A lot of buds and um on all of these we are definitely seeing we are definitely seeing some some strong growth come up so that's kind of eased my ease my concerns a bit strong growth coming up from the bottom as well so that's so that's good and Gabriel Oak it's the same it's the same story a lot of strong growth thick growth coming up from the bottom but I was a bit worried about this this bush but my ease my fears are eased a little bit for the time being anyway so we'll see we'll see how we how we get on but this is a uh, lilac wine and you can see you know what I, i'll say this this here is the sunniest point in my garden the whole garden this is the sunniest point it gets sun from sunrise all the way round until probably um late evening at this time of year and um, I can't help, when I smell this rose, I can't help but think of a box that hasn't been opened for a long time. That sort of dusty, that sort of dusty smell. I thought it the first time I smelt it. And that's what I, that is what I get from, from this rose. But it's doing okay. It's doing okay, it needs deadheading. Rose is starting to, to go over. But this is, this is another Dixon rose. This is one of my favorites here. Joy Viella, look at that. Beautiful. A lovely light fragrance. An attractive fragrance as well. And then the roses, they, they go over. We've had a lot of hot sun the last sort of, probably the last five, six days, very hot. And uh, Diane Boyd, look at this here. I think these colors go very well. A lovely color. Again, uh, a nice light fragrance and I think those colours I think those colours go well. You know I've just I've just put them there. I have got several new roses here. Some of them are not in flower but this one is and this is Rosemary Harkness. It's its first flower since I've had it. And when I was at the garden centre again a lovely strong fragrance. When I was at the uh oh, that's the madman just driven past that's the madman. Yeah, when I was at the garden centre, um, I was giving this rose a good looking at, as you do, and there was a, a member of staff there, an employee who was watering the, watering the roses, and as he went past, he told me that this was his favourite rose. 
so I had to think about it and I decided to I decided to buy it and when I did <laughs> the lady who served me she said exactly the exactly the same thing rosemary Harkness a, a lovely rose from Harkness roses and this here this one's in flower this is Shandos Beauty I've got to have a smell of this one I've got to have a smell of this one because this is a very powerful a very powerful fragrance that one it's just probably starting to go over and that's the last of its of its flowers there but an intense fragrance from Sandos Beauty another hybrid tea but you see here Royal Parfumer Dark Desire just one rose per per stem at the moment whether that's going to change over the future in the future I don't know but that's what you often get with a hybrid tea but let's go over here and I'll show you some of my new roses. Laguna, I think I told you about Rose Laguna from Cordes. This one here is Rose Angela, another Cordes rose, a lovely flower. And I can't help but think I'm getting clove oil from, from this. I am feeling very brave today to give you a, so we've got dust and we've got <laughs> clove oil. I'm not a huge fan of clover, I have to say, but that is what I'm getting here today. But this is a rose, it's, it's continual flowering, so they say. It is a new purchase. Um, and whenever I've seen anyone who's had it, they're always very pleased with it. English has this rose. English, um, I call her English Aphrodite, is it? English Aphrodite, something like that. I'll put the name in the bottom. But it's a rose, they say, I've read many times it flowers kind of continually through the year and that is something that I wanted but there's the there's the flower just there and this is another new one and this is uh, another Cordes rose kiss me Kate I've just purchased it it's a climbing rose and they say it grows to um, is it eight feet something like that so not a particularly large climber but I'm told it's I'm told it's very thorny I believe and it's another one with a very intense fragrance and that is why I that is why I wanted it. Powerful fragrance. I'll put a, a photograph in the in the bottom here so you can see. But um, this is a rose I was after for a long time. I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed when I got it because the growth down the bottom is perfectly fine. But we are in July. Where are we now? July the 13th. I was hoping for you know maybe some buds or some flowers, but this it doesn't look like it's grown much this year at all but this rose i do hear it's one of those climbers that takes a couple of years to establish so we'll see <clears throat> we'll see how that gets on and here's first crush another cordos cordes rose from the perfumer collection yeah very powerful fragrance of late we have had decent temperatures here i think the whole month of june yeah, very powerful. The whole month of June, we had single digit temperatures overnight and that caused, that caused issue with our, with the fragrance in my, in my garden. But now the temperatures, we've got hot during the day, nice during the night and the fragrance is now coming through. This is spicy perfumer, as you know, powerful fragrance. I wish I knew the American name of this rose. It's the perfumer collection and I'm so impressed with it. I. I've got another one. I'm starting to jockey my roses into their final positions now. So Spice is going to go here and the one I've bought recently is going to go just behind it in the ground. So we can have two there, a couple of Summer Romance here, a couple of Earth Angels here and Delightful Parfumer. I'm not entirely sure because I've got two of them and they've yet to give me a single rose as yet they are yet to give me a single rose and it's a florabunda but it's only given me one bud per per stem maybe that will change in time but certainly delightful perfumer the jury is still out but you see this here is a hybrid tea and it's giving me i've deadheaded it already it's giving me um multiple flowers per stem and they're flowers that that are lasting Summer Romance, you know I love this rose. I think I've got four of these now. Look at that. Lovely fragrance and flowers that are, are lasting. They're not bleaching. I can't sing the praises of, of this rose enough. 
I've said before I know but very very happy with that but let's go up oh in fact let's go here because these are some roses you you haven't seen this is Joey de Vivre is it and um, I had it last year a lovely a lovely soft fragrance but it is a a lovely soft fragrance I'm getting I'm actually getting a little bit of peach I am feeling brave today aren't I but these flowers again it's a, it's a Cordes rose and I've deadheaded many already you can see and for a second flush it really is doing well it's a form of rose of the year a light fragrance but very nice and long-lasting flowers this here this here is a rose with no name. It's the cutting that I took last July, July the 1st. I don't know if you can see all these buds, but it is just budding galore everywhere. Many, many buds, that's doing very well. I've moved it here. I have had a bit of a change around. The poet's wife is now alone with the lark ascending. And I'll show you exactly why. We've actually got a power cut this morning, which is a bit of a pain. Emily. I can't walk past Emily without smelling her. Ever reliable. Lovely fragrance. I put her by the door because of her reliable, her reliable fragrance there. But here, here is a change here. And this is where I have moved Elizabeth to. Now I've moved her here for a for a couple of reasons, a few reasons in fact. One, this pot was never gonna last, not for Rose Elizabeth. She is, she's growing and that pot, so she's gonna have to go in the ground next year. And I wanted to get her accustomed to her new position. Now this is in part shade, but they say that Rose Elizabeth is a rose that can, can take part shade. But I wanted to move her here because an interesting story, perhaps hundreds of years ago, Queen Elizabeth the first she used to come up this she used to come up this lane and um, she used to visit the church behind me and um, she once said that the view that you see here was the finest in all England a view that was second to none that is that is what she said and um, when I heard that and I only heard it recently I thought well I've, I've got to move Elizabeth so she can see the view then you know the namesake of our current queen and um apparently just a little bit of scandal she um elizabeth the first hundreds of years ago apparently she had a friendship with a guy a catholic guy who lived around here or who stayed around here and she used to stay overnight with him so i thought what perfect sort of spot for elizabeth to go so that's why i moved her here but she will get shade she will get sun in the morning some but then this tree is going to block her out until late morning into the early afternoon so i'm hoping she'll still get six hours but it'll be sort of later in the morning and into the early part of the afternoon so we'll see how we how we get on with that but this here is timeless purple and this is another hybrid tea but you see what i mean i do like this when you talk about a hybrid tea and you get that amount of buds coming coming through on the one stem timeless purple but let me um let me show you this this one here is timeless charisma and i did say in a previous video that the roses they were bleaching and it disappointed me which it did but a lady she did comment i can't remember her name and i do apologize she said that her timeless roses do not do that but you can see what i mean here this one's not too bad this one's just starting to go over I know that all roses they get they can get this sort of pink dot but this wasn't that this was a it was literally like a staining like a pigment type thing but we're not getting it on these ones coming through now so i'm hoping this will this will come through good in fact let me have a smell yeah we've got a lovely fragrance again i'm so glad the uh the fragrance is back in my garden i have to say that's looking mighty fine mighty fine there it's holding on and this is second flush as well we've got Gertrude here yeah lovely 
lovely Gertrude is starting to look a bit battered. It's foliage, but I am, I was expecting that and something's been eating, been eating this part here. I've got two of them going here, one here and one here, but we are starting to see the, the growth come through now for the, ready for the second flush. But there we go, there we go. Oh, in fact, let me talk about this very quickly because I did say in a previous video that um, Roald Dahl, I wanted, in fact, let me come around here. I wanted this area here to be a little sort of wild um, with lots of color. I think I did say um, floral sort of graffiti. And I wanted it to be, to just overgrow this bit here. But I think it was this, this, I had to pull this back because this started to grow all around here in Roald Dahl. And, um, it got so dense in there, I don't think Roald Dahl could breathe because we got horrific black spot. And you know, when you're, when you're talking about Roald Dahl and black spot in July, something's wrong. So I had to defoliate it all, pull it all back. And, um, and that was that. But now, now I've pulled it back. Now it's doing well again. And that's gonna, that's gonna do very well. I've no doubt, very reliable, healthy sort of rows with many flowers. So I'm sure that'll, that'll do well now. But lovely viewer, where shall I leave you with? I'm going to leave you with, with this rose here. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave you here because we've, we've come to the beach and um, I'm going to leave you with the, the gentle sounds of the splashing of the sea. But that over there is France. And I don't know if you can see it on the, on the video, but you can just make out France there. It's a little bit overcast today. But next year, probably next January or February, I'm going to go over to France on a on a booze cruise with the intention of buying at least one rose bien venue is it i don't know the pronunciation of it rose bien venue that is the rose that i want but at the moment you cannot get it in the uk as far as i'm aware so i'll be going over there to um to get that rose it's frustrating because it's <laughs> it's just over there but lovely viewer i'm gonna leave you here on the beach like I say, it's a little overpass today, but it's still damn hot. Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely day.